Best Scene of Slave Children, written by Michael Fons Brown. Interior, bedroom. The English man chases sobbing Simon around the room. No, no! Baxter strides towards the man, volcanic. Get out! He's mine! Ask the shake! Baxter smashes his jaw with the butt of his gun. He kicks him in the crotch so he bounces off the far wall, screaming. Simon, shaking, is overawed, open mouth beyond belief. Wow! Baxter, enraged, towers over the Englishman. He shoots him once in the groin. The Englishman shrieks. Baxter shoots him once in the head. He's dead. Gunfire sounds in another part of the building. A firefight breaks out. Simon, panting, gazes at Baxter, dreaming. He collapses against Baxter. Baxter hugs both boys, ruffles their hair, and kisses each forehead. Got him, Sam. Both look over the moon. Baxter grabs relieved Simon and makes for the door, followed by Dan. Passage. Bullets keep Baxter, Simon, and Dan penned in the passage. The boys look at each other, scared. Will they get out? Baxter chucks a grenade around the corner. There's an explosion, followed by silence, apart from distant sporadic gunfire. They turn the corner and meet Johnny. Baxter points Dan and Simon to Johnny. Get them out of here quick. I'll check around for more hostiles. Wait, more boys? No, just a nice girl, an Arab. She belongs here. She stays. She's a slave. Please take her. Maybe. Johnny nods and vanishes down the passage with the boys trailing close, machine pistol at the ready. A heavy machine gun opens up. Progress would be suicide. Baxter throws his last grenade in its general direction. It stops. He pokes his head around a corner. He jerks back at a hail of bullets. Interior, exterior, Fort Car Park. Johnny is about to leave the main building. Simon looks way out in shock. Johnny pulls the boys down to the ground behind him and looks through the doorway. Interior, Schick's Lounge. The room is lavishly furnished, the corner we can see. The Sheik cowers behind a settee. The Sheik and Johnny eye each other. The Sheik sees the boys and makes a gesture like they're mine. Johnny smiles. He's amazed at the finery and backs out with the boys. Interior corridor. The sound of running feet approaching. Johnny takes a quick look and throws a grenade round the corner. It explodes. There's a cry and a falling body. Johnny pulls Simon close to him. Dan follows. Exterior courtyard. Heavy gunfire rakes the courtyard. Angus and Jock throw their last grenades. Silence. Explosions. Rush the gates and cover Baxter. More gunfire traps them. How the hell? Gunfire advances closer. Interior corridor. The boys lie on the floor. Johnny slots in his last magazine. Dan looks inquiring. Johnny shakes his head. We either give ourselves up or... He makes a throat slitting move. Both boys look aghast. Bullets continue. A new source of bullets showers in from outside the walls, followed by grenades exploding inside the fort. The Sheik's men are silent. The boys and Johnny look at each other, amazed. Exterior yard. An Arab-clad figure rolls along the ground, firing a hail of bullets at the windows and doors. Baxter emerges, followed by Angus and Jock, weapons ready. A single shot comes from a window. The figure throws a grenade. It explodes inside the window. Silence. The figure morphs into Jenny. What? what? I thought you might like some help. Baxter gives her a quick hug. All out. Jenny lays down, heavy covering fire. Silence. She gestures the boys out and continues firing with a fresh magazine. There's no response from the fort. The boys look at Jenny and then each other in amazement. They sprint towards the gates passing through. A mercenary riddles the Mercedes tires with gunfire.